trail for my four and a half day hike. It's going to work out to 65 miles. It's the third year in a row at the end of May that we have hiked on the Northville Plaza Trail. We're going to finish it up this year. It's the last 65 miles. We're looking forward to it. So five real quick points here. I've got all my backpack stuff, my pack liner from Walmart, a piece of Reflectex that I've cut in the same shape as the pad that normally comes with my ULA home backpack. It slides down in there. I use it for the pad for the backpack. I use it in my hammock sometimes if I start to get colder under my feet. I use it to sit on. Uh, I find I use this thing an awful lot. Sometimes I'll make a bigger windscreen out of it and hold it. And then just a trash compactor bag. I use that to, as a pack liner to try to keep everything else a little bit drier. Down here in my sleep system, I've got my hammock. It's a 23 ounce fully integrated bug net hammock from a company called Hammock, H-A-M-M-E-C-K. They're brand new, they're in the Pennsylvania area, and I like it. It's about 23 ounces with all the stuff I need to hang my hammock. Now I've got two pieces of gear for my insulation. I've got an underquilt and a top quilt, so the underquilt up underneath my hammock, top quilt over top of my hammock. This is from Hammock Gear, great gear, um, and I'll have links for all these companies down below. But uh, this is a 30 degree underquilt, and this is a 40 degree top quilt for the end of May and the Adirondacks. Um, I find that works for me. Then I've got a Tadpole Tarp. This is from Wilderness Logics. It's a great tarp, about 17 and a half ounces, fully rigged. I love it. Uh, this year, something new is I'm adding two ounce of these poles. The poles stretch out, help keep the tarp spread in the middle a little bit more, give me a little bit more room underneath it, and I'll let you know how those work. Five stakes, one for each of the corners of my tarp, and then an extra one. The extra one is for the door. The, I have a door that's made, Wilderness Logics makes, a, like, makes an accessory door for the tadpole tarp. I usually use it up on the head end. I hang my backpack from the head of my hammock at night with, with my extra stuff in it and uh, just a little bit of protection. And then this last part of it is 2Q and ZQ. It's uh, another company, I believe out of Pennsylvania, they make a bunch of hammock accessory stuff, they're really great. This is an underquilt protector. In my underquilt protector, hangs up underneath my underquilt and it protects it from wind and rain and those things and adds a little bit of warmth. So the third section here is kind of food and water. So I've got my cook kit, it's a, a four cup plastic Target brand, I believe it's Target brand cup. In there I've got a Foster beer can that I've cut down and pressed a ring into it. And what I do is it holds just over two cups of water. I pour my food into the plastic container. I use a, a little stove, I'll show you the stove. So I made a little DIY stove and a, uh, this is a piece of hardware cloth that I use for a pot stand. So I boil my water, pour my food into the cup, use a windscreen, just a piece of aluminum foil, put it down in the cozy, put the top on it. Once I had the hot boiling water, 10 minutes later my food's ready to eat. We've got a little piece of chamois, sham wow here to kind of wipe stuff out and grab hot stuff and do those types of things. I'm going to be bringing two four ounce fuel bottles and a one ounce fuel bottle. I'll bring nine ounces of fuel for this trip. Here's my water filtration. This is a new thing for me. I just built this recently. Uh, the guys on Hammock Forum saw us. I stole some ideas and posts. Just a water bag. It's a uh, waterproof dry bag with some plastic fittings and it's got my Sawyer Mini that's going to hook up by a tubing and then I just bring the back flush kit. It's about six and a half ounces. Um, 
I like the idea. I've never used a, a gravity bag before, and uh, I'm going to give it a try. Next piece is my Mora knife. This Mora knife is the Light My Fire. It's got a fire steel that fits up in the handle. I like it. Mora knife is great. Again, orange. I don't lose it. I try to keep stuff bright. I lose stuff. Uh, four and a half days worth of food, about ten and a half pounds worth of food in this bag with some uh, 1.75 zingit with a little carabiner. That's my bear bag, food bag, and the rope. And then for my water, uh, I chose just a couple of 20 ounce Gatorade bottles. Um, I like to put the Gatorade bottles, hang it from the straps of my backpack and uh, use that. And then just a bandana to wipe the sweat. Four sections, just clothes and hygiene, and first aid. Um, my extra clothes, I'll, uh, I'll take this out, but I've got, you know, uh, long underwear, tops and bottoms, and a pair of socks to sleep in, and, and uh, a little uh, toque to wear, and first aid kit. Uh, duct tape and bandages and antiseptic swab and tick removal and ibuprofen and Imodium ID and extra uh, flashcards for the camera. I've got some 100% DEET bug spray and a little bit of Blistex for my lips. A fire starter kit, cotton balls soaked in Vaseline and some stick matches double bagged up. And the old uh, hygiene bag with some toilet paper, some disposable wet wipes, about three quarters of an ounce of hand sanitizer, my toothbrush, and some toothpaste. All right, let's round it out here. I've got the Frog Togs rain jacket that I'll use, keep that on the outside of my pack. I found these at Home Depot, I like them. I started using them last year. It's just a uh, set of gloves that are fully rubber on the front. The back is a stretchy material and uh, rainy cold conditions on the hiking poles they work pretty good. A couple of hiking poles. The end of May in the Adirondacks you're going to need a bug net. Uh, the black flies, if you get tired sometimes the black flies will carry you for a mile or so. But uh, it's just a sea to summit bug net. Down here next is some of the uh, camera stuff, which is new to me. A stick pick to hold the camera on the end of the hiking pole for some shots. Three extra batteries for my camera and a Gorilla Pod. Um, this thing's pretty neat. I'm still getting used to using it. Uh, lastly, or last, last couple of things I guess here guys is a thermometer, high and low temp for the last 24 hours. Just another Walmart cheapo. Compass and map. I won't bring the whole map. I'll photocopy off the sections we're going to be doing and I'll put it in a Ziploc bag. But uh, I'll have that and then my compass. Headlamp. Pretty self explanatory. This is a Spot Gen 3. This is one of those personal locator beacons. It's new to me this year. Um, the last number of years on trips that were longer than, you know, the one nighters. It just makes it nice. It lets my wife know where I am, that I'm okay, and uh, provides a little bit of comfort for her. And when she's more comfortable while I'm out backpacking, I'm more comfortable out backpacking. And then I carry three extra batteries. The batteries fit both the headlamp and the Spot Gen 3. And then rounding it out here is just a lightweight windbreaker, about seven and a half ounces. I keep this on the outside of my pack. I use it when I start to get chilly. If I'm taking a break or having lunch, I'll uh, use it in the morning around camp, use it at night around camp and those types of things as well. Just a lightweight windbreaker, keep the dampness and moisture off you and cold off you. Okay guys, I'm gonna show you just real quick how I like to pack all this stuff in here. It doesn't take too long at all.
to it real easy. And that's it. That's a oops, headlamp, sorry about that. Headlamp I also put in the top here, in the back, in the meshy part. Okay guys, hopefully you found this helpful. Here's all the gear the way it normally sits. But uh, anybody that thinks that making these videos is easy, you should just check out how tired my pup Willie is. Willie, puppy. Oh, it just was not easy, was it bud?